Друзья, вашему вниманию представляется мотоцикл. Sure. Вот такой прикольный красавец. Посмотрите. Это не просто так. Это серьезная фирма Indian. Фирма Indian это э, как бы знаковая такая фирма. Она э, вошла в историю как бы американского такого мотоцикла строения. Они с 901 года. Представьте себе, с 901 года они делали мотоциклы. И вот так вот. И сейчас можно купить, и там все очень такое прикольно. Так. А тут рядом вот еще один. Так. Смотрите, как она подкачивает, видите? Она. Ай! Yes, you, months ago, you, you, yeah, you, you told me about that one, yeah. Did you put me on the internet back there? No, well, unfortunately, the, the camera stopped and it didn't write anything. Oh, okay. So if, if you say a couple of words, it would be nice. What, what you want to know? Uh, how, how much is a thing like that? What is the kind of price range? They start around twenty-two or twenty-three thousand dollars out the door. Okay, which is which is affordable? I would say it's not not not. Yeah. Well, when it comes to the value, absolutely, yeah. it's affordable. Yeah. It's um, it's it's total quality. You're really getting um, a great product. But in terms of riding such a thing, so what what do you experience compared to a regular motorcycle? Well. Um, I've been riding for 40 years, and there's nothing like this bike. Uh, I've had great bikes. This is something uh, completely above those bikes. It's uh, it's totally solid. There's no vibration. It's um, the most powerful and beautiful cruiser in the world. Going uphill? <laughs> uphill is just a dream. That's what it's all about. <laughs> it has great torque. It's about 140 horsepower. It'll do 150 off the uh -huh. showroom floor. But going up a hill, I have 35,000 miles on that bike in 18 months, and three quarters of this, three quarters of them, is going up hills. Uh -huh. I love the mountains. Just because of what you said, and you smiled too, because. It's absolutely effortless. Mm -hmm. uh, you have more power than you possibly need uh, to go up a hill. But the torque just pulls you up the hill. If you know, you know, go in any other vehicle, and if, if you don't have the power to take you up a hill, it's just painful. This, it's like you're going straight. But why, why they are so rare then? They're not rare anymore. That's uh, that's a. 2017 bike. It's made by Polaris. Mm -hmm. um, it's all American parts. Everything's uh, made from scratch, and um, they're back. They got their brand uh, about got the Indian brand about six six years ago. They're a multi-billion-dollar company that knows how to make wow. great machines, and um, and they have great. They pay great homage to the Indian. They know it's an iconic brand, and um, they spared no expense on designing and engineering that bike. Uh, what because you know, mm -hmm. money will come. But what about colors? It's it's very unusual, I would say. The red is really what's called Indian red, and that's the very first American bike ever made, 1901. That's the same mixed design. You're seeing the same mixed design red on it. The other color is ivory cream. Mm -hmm. And if you go back to the 60s in the United States in automobiles, yes. which was the greatest period for our, our cars, they have many two-tone cars. We have a two-tone bike. Okay. So it is kind of um, following the tradition, I would say. Well, yeah. But I'll ask you one thing. What are yes. we looking at? Is it not the most beautiful bike you've ever it seen? Is. It, it is. It is. I, I mean, you, you, you must be having lots of people asking you what is that and, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. It, 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 what, the interesting thing is, like, I've had some very attractive bikes in my life, and there's a lot of beautiful bikes, but this is something completely different. Most of the people that admire this bike aren't even bike riders. 
So what are they attracted to is the the, the beauty and balance of that uh, the whole machine. Uh, lots of people think that riding a bike is kind of dangerous. <clears throat> well, they're they're badly mistaken. <clears throat> if anybody would take the time to look up the statistics, they would see. <clears throat> Sorry, mm -hmm. cookie. They would see <clears throat> that all the stat statistics are skewed. What I mean by skewed is they just tell you about one. Well, let's just say hypothetically, let's say in a year four thousand. Let's just say it in a, a, a four thousand people. Don't shoot them. <laughs> Scary, huh? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm not yeah. frightened. No, no, that's the camera, <laughs> yeah. Sony stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, he thought maybe you were shooting me, yeah. which you are. It, I mean, the handle looks like a uh, gun, gun. Oh, handle. yeah, like you're uh, yeah. going to take my cookie. Anyhow, um, to make a long story short, most of the people that are killed on bikes, they don't even take a... a, a when they get a bike, they don't even uh, learn how to ride it correctly. In other words, they don't take a course. Then so, most of the accidents are caused by going too fast uh, for conditions. Another thing is, is a lot of accidents are caused because they're on drugs or they're drunk. Okay. And it goes on like that. So very a small amount of the accidents, the low percentage of the accidents, uh, again, are caused by... Um, a, a, a bike failure, a low, a low percentage, and a, a low percentage are caused by driver error, except, you know, you throw those other categories out that are d doing in everything incorrectly. Uh, you have, uh, <clears throat> of course, you have the main reason, one of the main reasons is uh, people don't see the bikes in their cars. Yeah. But if you, if you, uh, I didn't say it very correctly, but if you followed me, mm -hmm. Most of the most of the accidents are caused by people not really using the machine, right? So, would it, um, um, is it safe to say that uh, young people are more likely to get into trouble? <clears throat> yes, and the reason is is um, they're they're very good and they're very active. But <clears throat> the only way <laughs> you get through your teens um, and into your twenties. Um, most pe most accidents are caused because they they think they don't have the experience. You need experience. You need to have many close calls uh, to ride your bike a long time. In other words, and then you have to be introspective when that happens to you. Mm -hmm. You you can't forget it. You have to remember. Oh, this is a condition. So they just have to grow to the level of being responsible. Yes. They <clears throat> one of the things that. Uh, if let's say a father is a bike rider, they're, they're, and, and his kids are uh, riding bikes, they'll learn property. Sure. I mean, there is a culture going you know, <laughs> a, a, down to the new generation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very interested in the safety because I, I work for a company that safety was very important. Go back. And I came across this idea that <coughs> that I just tried to tell you in very short form that no matter how much you experience in your youth, you don't have you don't have enough experience. You just have to get the experience. There's more accidents <coughs> in mass for cars than there are for bikes. Sure. <coughs> and. I'm not talking, I'm talking percentage-wise. <coughs> With a bike, more power is better. You just have to use it to judiciously because you can get out of so many different situations sure. in a car you can't. Yes, you can maneuver. No. Yeah. <coughs> exactly. So there's a big misnomer about bikes. Just, uh, it, it, it <coughs> I've I'm along the way, you know, in life, and um, I don't I don't talk about it anymore because it, it's just one of those things that is ingrained in people. Yeah. You can't go down on a bike at speed. You're going to get hurt or killed. That's all there is to it. Uh, how old are you if you don't mind? I'm in my 70s. But what I want to okay. say is, <clears throat> if you're a biker, <clears throat> 
you're in good shape. And what I mean by that, if you're a part-time rider, if you think you're going to come out on a weekend, you're not a biker. Oh, no. In fact, that's the worst condition yes. you can possibly be in. You already yeah. understand yeah. that. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. I, I grew up in Moscow, Russia. And uh, uh, in winter time, <laughs> lots of people just park their cars and they don't drive on the snow or ice. Mm -hmm. But then uh, when spring comes mm -hmm. and they get out of their, you know, uh, they, they take cars out of their garages. Uh, it's an uh, accident time. Uh, yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. Uh, the idea is know whether you're a biker or not, and know it quickly. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you, you're attracted to bikes and then you start riding a bike, <clears throat> then do it the right way. If you if you have any reserve about it, uh, any if any fear get off your bike yeah. because again what what it really goes down to is risk and reward it's basically risk management <clears throat> people bikers that ride like I ride real bikers absolutely love it it's worth the risk whatever risk that it is okay. it gives them so much joy mm -hmm. it's basically risk and reward and um, nobody can t you know tell me differently bikes are just absolutely a joy and a lot of people don't understand that. Why people I'm just looking bikes. behind you. We see those, you know, wooden pieces with names of people who died. Oh yeah, on surfboards. Sur on surfboards, which is, I mean, how can people die? I mean, uh, maybe drone. I don't know. But how would they die? It's, it's supposed to be so safe. And, yeah. and that's. Uh, it, you know, again. Uh, again, it comes to be responsibility, being responsible, and kind of doing it right. And, that's why I go back to, yeah. you know, you, you gotta be circumspect. You gotta, you gotta really think about what you're doing and why you're doing it. Um, just one more question about the motorcycle. Uh, that the brown leather, uh, is it, it looks like very special. What, can it's, you say it? <clears throat> like the rest of the bike, it's all high quality. Okay, that is why, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, is, is it durable? Absolutely. It's just like a saddle on a horse. If you notice, it does look like a saddle yes, for a horse. Yes, yes, yes. It's I like call a it. cowboy, you know. It's structured. It's very aerodynamic. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I can be doing 60, 70 miles an hour and be more comfortable than I am in my easy chair. Mm -hmm. You just, that's another thing, mm -hmm. by the way. Yes. Getting the right bike. Getting the right bike is very important. Getting the right power bike getting the right feel of the bike and yeah, that doesn't come easy most people don't get the right bike the first time they get a bike but how people learn i mean besides uh, from fathers or uh, how how <clears> would they learn that stuff uh, what you do is you know it, it helps to know somebody for instance somebody like me mm -hmm. you know, that i could i could talk to them and i could actually take them through these things you know if they're a friend but if you don't know, you, you go out, you go to a dealership. Now, if they're really a really respectable dealership, they'll try not to put you in a bigger bike than they think that you have. They'll, you'll, they'll find out your experience level. I'm you know, what kind of bike do you like? Do you like a racer bike? Do you like a, a cruiser bike? I'm thinking about younger guys who yeah. watch, watch that conversation and they think, well, those guys are old school. You go to internet. <laughs> Yeah. No, it, uh, you know, again, what we're talking about, yeah. you, as you can see, I could probably talk the rest of the day if yes. I could make more sense, but uh, it, it is a real wonderful culture. I am very grateful that I'm a biker. Mm -hmm. I'm a very grateful. I'm very grateful that I got that particular bike. Yeah. And uh, I'm a great, uh, very grateful to be a part. All bikers are my friends because I know when I know we have a lot in common. It's mm -hmm. as simple as that. And by the way, you, you kind of community then. Well, it's a it's a matter how you deal with life. Okay, 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 a lifestyle. And, and, yeah, okay. it's a lifestyle. Uh -huh. But most of them, again, go back to risk and reward. Yeah. These these people, you know, they're usually a little bit on the edge with a lot, a lot of complacent I, I, people. I see lots of people. That my impression is more people uh, who. Our bikers are older, uh, in their 40s and 50s and maybe 60s, I don't know. I mean, a lot. Well, so, yeah. I don't know what the other, I don't know what the younger generation's doing then, because for, for excitement, what are they doing? 
Uh, mean, drugs, uh, maybe? <laughs> drugs, yeah. Well, that's... Uh, there is really a, a, a place that I could talk forever on. It just makes no sense. You're born with the most beautiful brain, and yeah. then you're going to put something in it and try to make it different. Yeah. Come on. Uh, let me let me uh, show it closer because yeah. my, my camera doesn't uh, yeah. have the focus. I, I wanted to changing. tell you, you know, yes. you brought up surfing and you put it over there. Yeah. The surfers that ride bikes, uh -huh. they say they surf waves and then they sur uh, surf roads. Okay, so that's the, what this is like. So surfing there are similarities. Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Okay. Let me show the leather, guys. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I can see it, and uh, so people who watch the, oh, they watch the video, they Did might... Did I just go pop you on No, it's probably it's mine. Uh -huh. uh, probably they, they do not see the quality the way we can see it. So, it is, uh, you said, uh, 18 months old. Yeah. And that part is so attract attracting. Yeah, this my is... attention. Both sides are different. Okay. okay. This piece is nice here. It nice because see, you don't scratch the tank if you you know. For instance, the buckles on. What that? What that? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. They put that. I mean, it's thoughts like that, you know. But how would you scratch it? With your keys or like. Oh. Your okay. Your okay. Rest. Okay. That's okay. what they call the bonnet. Uh huh. Wow. That goes way back. Oh, the Indian the chief. Yeah. Okay, yeah, last time you told me. Oh, good. Yeah, I remember. And you did have a newspaper uh, with, with his face, I remember. Oh, yeah, I showed yeah. you that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. That was Chief uh, Red Cloud. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Вот, друзья, это вождь индейского племени. Он является как бы символом фирмы Indian Motorcycles. Uh-huh. You know, I didn't speak that well. You know, we covered a lot of territory, but I, I like um, I like this point about talking about risk and reward. That's what life's about. Uh, the, the risk is high. I mean, the lives. And I know a couple of people who actually got uh, crippled. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that's one of the great fears of anybody, um, period. Not only whatever you do is you're better off dead than being crippled a lot of people with death, you know, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways. It's a, it's a, just a horrible thing that can happen. And it happens. That's all mm -hmm. there is to it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate welcome. it.